Hey guys, my name is Ku, and today I'm going to teach you how to get the maximum amount of XP possible from thieving while minimizing the amount of time that you actually spend looking at the screen, while at the same time making a decent cash stack. This is how I got the thieving skill cape, the pet, and 15 mil profit in just under two weeks. So I'll be covering the basics of the how-to on how to do the pickpocketing of the Arty Knight, and I'm also going to explain how to avoid some of the common pitfalls that I encountered on my journey to my first 99. So you definitely want to watch until the end so that you can avoid those major pitfalls and make it as efficient as possible. Now if you already know the basics, feel free to jump forward in the video. I'm leaving a timestamp in the description of where you'll want to go. Now first off, the only required equipment is really food. Other than that, I do have some highly recommended items and achievements that I recommend. And so first off and foremost, you're going to want to have the RD Medium Diary done. Now this allows you to have an additional 10% chance at a successful pickpocket, which makes a massive difference and is well worth it on your way to 99, or frankly whatever level you're going for. Now if you don't want to do the diaries, then the Gloves of Silence give a 5% boost, but they do degrade after every failure and require 54 Hunter to wear. These two bonuses do not stack together. The next piece of equipment that I highly recommend is the dodgy necklaces that can be bought from the GE for 1.2k each right now. Now these offer you a small chance of avoiding being stunned if you fail a pickpocket, and they have 10 charges each. Now this can save you nearly 3 seconds with each successful dodge. Now if you're planning on looking away from your screen for a while or doing this more AFK, I do recommend a ring of life to tell you away if you're about to die and you aren't looking. Now this has saved me more than once, and I've seen it kill a few hardcore Iron Man before as well. So, lastly, I do recommend the Rogue's Outfit as it does double your loot. Now if money's not an issue for you, you don't need to worry about that. But this is how I got 15 mil as opposed to 7 mil from 55 all the way up to 99. Now I'm not going to cover how to do this today, but I am posting Small Apex's guide that I used to get mine in the description. Okay, so first things first, you do need to be in the best spot possible. The best spot for this by far is in the building on the northeast corner of the Ardon Market. Now you want to find a world that already has a knight in this area. Most of the time it only takes you a couple minutes of world hopping to find a suitable world. Now if you do want to know how to get the Ardy Knight here on your own, feel free to check out Small X Plant's other guide on luring the knight into this spot in the description as well. Now once you have the optimal place, you need to make sure that you're being as efficient as possible. So first you're going to want to turn your camera 90 degrees to the right like this. Then you're going to want to zoom in as much as you possibly can while lowering your view as much as you can. This allows you to always click the knight regardless of if he moves while eliminating the possibility of clicking other NPCs in the area that are outside this window of the house. Now finally, go to your controls and change the NPC attack options to always right click. This allows you to spam click and automatically pickpocket. Now here are some tips and some very common pitfalls that I myself fell into and I saw a lot of other people falling into. First and foremost, you want to turn your keyboard into a mouse, and so that way you just have to spam one key, and you don't have to have your hand on your mouse at all times, and you don't have to worry about your mouse moving either. How you're going to do this is you're going to pull up the control panel. You're going to go to the ease of access, ease of access center, making the mouse easier to use, and turning on mouse keys and hitting apply. That makes the number 5 on your keypad a left click. Now I do know that some people have bought a foot pedal for the same effect, allowing them to work while they do it, although I was able to make do just fine without it. Now I also like to lure the hero and any other NPCs, any other guards, or any other knights that might wander into this building while people are banking for more food and necklaces. I put them in the other room like this. Now this allows you to pickpocket uninterrupted. Next is standing either east or west of the knight. Now this causes the knight to despawn if he cannot move to one of those squares. He always needs to be able to move to one of those squares. Now what often causes people to accidentally stand here is what's called flashing. When too many people fail an attempt at the same time, the knight disappears for a brief second, making everyone spam clicking to stand where he was without knowing because they're looking away. Now to fix this problem, you simply want to turn on the Entity Hider on your Runelite client, and this will prevent the Ardone Knight from flashing for you. This allows you to spam to your heart's content. Next, I do want to cover how to manually move the Knight when someone is standing to the east or the west of the Knight and not allowing them to move. What you want to do is simply stand on top of the player who is keeping the Knight from moving and move off. This updates the square and tricks the Knight into thinking that he's able to move onto that square, preventing him from despawning. The trick to this is if you do have your entity hider off at this point, you won't see the person standing there. The only way you'll be able to know is if the knight hits someone in that direction and you know you need to update the square. Finally, you do want to use your rune light client for one more reason. It's not a huge reason, but if you hold alt on your keyboard, 
You can move your inventory anywhere on the screen while you're in an adjustable mode such as modern adjustable or classic adjustable. This allows for a very quick flick to the side to empty your pouches, and if you do this right, you won't even miss a single pickpocket. Doing all these things, I was able to get my 99, my pet, and 50.